Hello everyone, the main content of this lesson is the generality of tea garden wax hoppers, methods and technology of prevention and control, Cicadillidae, Homoptera, Ocinorentia, Family Fulgoroidea. According to statistics, there are more than 20 species of fulgoroids that harm tea trees in China, most of which belong to some species of Latidae, Spinola, and family Ricanidae. The biological features of fulgoroids varies tremendously from kind to kind, but there are also some similarities we can learn from the living habits and occurrence regularity of cicada. These two aspects. First of all, let's learn from the common life habits of Cicadillidae. The adult nymph Cicadillidae mainly harm the tea trees by sucking the juice from the leaves of tender shoots of tea trees. During the nymph stage, the white wax is secreted on the body back and abdominal end. The honeydew is excreted, which is very easy to cause tea cold disease. The adult Cicadillidae lays eggs in the tender shoot and the main vein tissue of the leaves. The new tissues will be damaged if it occurs on a large scale. The newly hatched nymphs are more active and have clustering characteristics. The nymphs begin to absorb juice at the third to fourth instar and bounce quickly, fled when they are frightened. Generally, eclosion occurs in the middle and late July. Adults are mostly scattered to feed. Their flying ability is not strong. Wax cicadas all have the habit of being tender and afraid of light. In the morning, they feed on the back of the tender leaves of the tea bushes. When the sunlight is strong, they like hiding in the tea bushes. Then we learn about the generality of wax cicadas in the law of occurrence. The factors that affect the occurrence of wax cicadas are as follows. The occurrence and climatic conditions of wax cicadas. Tea varieties. The cultivation mode is related to the ecological environment of the tea garden. Second, generally speaking, the surrounding vegetation is rich. The tea trees grow luxuriantly. The tea gardens with high crown and gardens with good nutritional conditions occur frequently. The young tea gardens and the flat tea gardens and frequently picked tea gardens rarely occur. So, is there any specific control method for wax cicadas in the tea garden? According to the commonness of the life and occurrence law of wax cicadas, the following methods can be taken to control them. 1. During the peak period of adult occurrence, wax cicadas can be caught and killed by traps. 2. Wax cicadas usually lay eggs in the branches. The spawning marks are obvious. It can be pruned in the tea garden. In late autumn and early spring, cut off the spawning tips and destroy it outside the garden to reduce the population. 3. Artificially release predators. When there are many spiders and natural enemy insects, we should try to reduce the use of pesticides so as to give full play to the natural control role of natural enemies. 4. Nymph's peak period. We can spray the high efficiency, low toxicity, and low residue. 5. Finally, let's learn the control technology of wax cicada in tea garden. First, we can strengthen the management of tea garden, picking in batches for several times to worsen the living environment of wax cicada, properly pruned in winter and spring, to prevent the branches and leaves from being too dense, to facilitate ventilation and light, cut off the branches with egg blocks in time, and centrally destroy them to reduce the source of insects. The second is to carry out biological control, using a yellow armyworm board to hang around 25 centimeters above the tea canopy. We can also use a broom to remove the adult nymphs of wax cicadas after rain or when the dew is not dry to step and kill them. We can also release chickens, ducks, and other livestock and poultry. Third, take chemical control. Before the adults lay eggs, or at the early stage of spawning, or when the nymphs are first hatched and undispersed, period, it is appropriate to apply pesticide. When the second nymphs hatch to their peak, 10% of imidacloprid, wettable powder, or avermectin can be used. At the peak of adult eclosion, 0.5% matrin 800 times solution, 50% voxim 1000 to 1500 times solution. The safe interval is 10 days. 
during the non-picking period or in the Young Tea Garden to control nymphs. Add 0.3% diesel emulsion or 0.2% washing powder or use mineral oil to control. In winter, spray 45% stone sulfur mixture, 3 to 5 bomb, 300 to 600 times of sodium turpentine solution, turpentine mixture 18 to 20 times, mineral oil such as green gloom and other medicament control. Note, adults can fly and jump well. The liquid is not easy to spray on them. In multiple dense forests, smoke can be caused to kill them, 0.5 to 1 kilogram per mu. These are all the contents of this lesson. Thank you for listening.